here, Cappy. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna find you. Nuka World! I've always dreamed of coming here, and now I finally made it! This place is amazing, don't you think? Yeah, I guess it is pretty impressive. It sure is. You can just imagine the children smiling and happy, all drinking Nuka Cola and having the time of their lives. It must have been magical. The name's Sierra Petrovita. I traveled all the way from the capital wasteland to visit this place. Maybe you've heard about my Nuka Cola Museum? Uh, yeah, the Nuka Cola Museum. Everyone's heard of that. Really? That's great! I'm so glad word is catching on. Maybe I'll get more visitors soon. You just made my day! Here, let me return the favor. It's not really cold anymore, but I'm sure it still tastes great. Well, I'd stay and chat some more, but I've got to get back to my search. I could help you out if you want. Oh, no thanks. I kind of need to keep this a secret. It's really important to me, and I just don't know you very well. I'll keep your secret. You can trust me. Well... Okay. To be honest, I'm so excited I can barely keep it in. It'll be a relief to finally tell someone. I guess you could think of me as the world's biggest Nuka-Cola fan. I've been obsessed with this stuff since the first time I tasted it. I collect all the merchandise I can find, like these awesome Cappy glasses I'm wearing. But these aren't just ordinary sunglasses. They were part of a really cool contest that started just before the war. And oh my gosh. And the winner of the contest would get to meet the famous John Caleb Bradburton himself. Brad Burton, I remember that name. He was the guy who invented Nuka-Cola, right? Exactly! Wow, not a lot of people know that. At least not anymore. So, to win the contest, you had to find 10 images of Cappy, the Nuka-Cola mascot, hidden throughout the park. Each image has part of a code or something, and only these special glasses can reveal it. Now I know what you're thinking. Brad Burton's long gone. Who cares about the contest anymore? Well, I'm betting that somewhere in his office is the original Nuka-Cola formula. That formula was one of the great mysteries of the soft drink world, and it would be the crown jewel of my collection. If you can help me get it, I promise it'll be worth your while. Sure, why not? Might learn more about the park while I'm at it. Good point. You're new here, after all. You should learn everything you can. I'll give you my cappy glasses and this old contest hollow tape. It's got hints about where to find the hidden cappies. Just track down the clues and then come back to me once you've found them all. I'm an expert in all things Nuka Cola, so I'm sure I'll be able to decipher it. Happy hunting! That last one died too fast. I'm losing my touch. Nisha was right about you. To think I wanted to slit your throat. That's one. Close down. Eight to go.
that's three clues. The letters must spell something. Another clue found. Another one.
Just a reminder that Nuka World is not responsible for injuries sustained by the audience during the Cola Clowns Comedy Cavalcade. a mix-up at Safari Adventures Animal Waste Facility, apple juice will not be served this evening as a Clue number seven. an item, stop by our lost and found at the main gate. Your item will be returned to you for a nominal fee. Welcome to the Nuka-Cola World of Refreshment, now featuring a river of Nuka-Cola Quantum. Nuka-Cola began its journey in the year 2020. It took almost two years to perfect the formula. But in late 2044, Mr. Brad Burton was finally successful as Nuka-Cola was born. Out west, they enjoy regional favorites, such as the classy Nuka-Cola Quark and refreshingly patriotic Nuka-Cola Victory. For those that prefer a classic fruit based beverage, they pick up a delicious Nuka Cola Wild. Out west, they enjoy regional favorites such as the classy Nuka Cola Quartz and almost done. Nuka Cola Victory. It quickly surpassed other lesser beverages. Nuka Cola Quantum. That's clue number nine, one left. here is ah 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 fun well howdy thar sheriff looks like you got some pesky varmints here in the gulch that need straightening out i don't know about varmints 
but we got us some no good outlaws holed up in Mad Mullion's mind. We could sure use a hand around here. What do you say? Want to be my deputy? Let me see if I can run some overrides and make you a little more helpful. Employee manual login recognized. Currently running in full farm exhibition mode. Visitors are directed to our three main activity centers. Doc Phosphate Saloon, Giddy Up Kids Corral, and One Eyed Ike's Quick Draw Contest. After completing each activity, the visitor will be given part of the combination to the same that holds the key to Mad Mulligan's Mine. Signs of life in the mine, originally believed to be mine cart ride attendants, but may actually be an infestation of deadly worms. Advise contracting exterminators system will now reboot. Have a nice day, and don't forget your uniform. Do you have what it takes to be? A little administrative override is in order. Employee manual login recognized. Exhibition bypass protocol engaged. Handing over part one of this week's safe combination rebooting. Time for a little reprogramming. Employee manual login recognized. Exhibition bypass protocol engaged. Handing over part three of this week's safe combination rebooting. Don't forget to pick up your child's Nuka Sheriff Star after today's Wild West Stunt Show performance. Yeehaw! Flavor with each hospitality is a out here in Dry Rock Gulch. That's why I want you to handle tending the barn. I got three orders of drinks I need you to deliver. Don't forget to stake out a good spot for the Fizz Top Mountain Fireworks Spectacular this evening. Show starts promptly at 9 p.m. Oh no, we're not doing this. Let's see if I can make some adjustments. Employee manual login recognized. Exhibition bypass protocol engaged. Handing over part two of this week's safe combination rebooting.
and be the first to ride our angry anaconda coaster opening soon at Safari Adventure. All ten clues. Better get these back to Sierra and see what she can make of them. Tokens for the Midway Games are available at any one of the marked token dispensers in Dry Rock Gulch. One gang you ought to be backing around here. You're looking at them. Happy hunting! I found all the hidden cappies. Each one had a letter? Great! Let me take a look at these letters. Well, anyone who stared at Nuka Cola merchandise as long as I have would get this one pretty fast. The letters definitely spell refreshing. It's simpler than I was expecting. Of course, it's simple. The contest was meant for kids. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I guess sometimes I take all of this Nuka Cola stuff so seriously. This door should lead to Brad Burton's office, but it's locked up tight. The keypad is the only way to open it. I guess we just need to key in the ten numbers that correspond to the word refreshing. You did all the work looking for the hidden copies, so you should be the one who gets to enter the code. Door's unlocked. Let's go inside. Let's search carefully. I'm willing to bet this place has a few secrets, and they'll probably be well hidden. It's his head. Wow. Who, who are you? I haven't seen a real human face in so long. I had given up all hope. Oh my god. It's alive! He's alive! My name's Sierra, sir. I'm your biggest admirer. I love Nuka Cola more than anything. <laughs> it's such an honor. You there. With the pit boy. What are you doing here? You there. With the pit boy. What are you doing here? We solved your hidden cappy contest. The hidden cappy contest. It all seems so long ago. Another lifetime. That was before I became this monster. Before I was trapped here for centuries to suffer in solitude. 
This was General Braxton's plan all along. Damn the man. He called it Project Cobalt. In exchange for my weapon design, he would give me access to life-extending technology. I'm such a fool for taking him at his word. He never told me that this would be the price. I can't imagine what you must have gone through. I'm truly sorry, Mr. Bradburton. A... Uh, a weapon? I don't believe it. Why would the genius who brought so much joy to the world want to make something destructive? Genius is restless, madam. It must expand, seek new challenges, and explore new frontiers. So yes, a weapon. It was going to be a quantum-enhanced variant of the standard portable tactical warhead. In fact, the prototypes are stored in this very chamber. You can have them. On one condition. I want you to shut off the power to this machine that's keeping me alive. I want to die. What? No! Yeah, if our places were reversed, I'd probably want the same thing. Then I trust you will honor my wish. You can't kill him! He's a great man. He invented Nuka-Cola, the best thing in the world. Lady, you don't know what a torment it is. Being trapped here alone and staring at the same wall decade after decade. Now please shut up while I talk to your more rational friend here. I realize that what I'm asking isn't easy, but there's something in it for you. When the power is cut, the door to the prototype storage room will open automatically. Take anything you want. I don't care anymore. Just please, set me free at last. I can't bear this loneliness any longer. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Mr. Bradburton wants to die because he's lonely, right? Well, maybe I could stay with him, you know? Keep him company, give him someone to talk to. He's like a hero to me. If he lives, I don't get the prototype ammo. What can you offer to make this worth my while? Well, uh, I do have one thing that might interest you. I've got a limited edition Nuka-Cola jumpsuit. It's really stylish, and not many were made. It's one of my most treasured possessions, but... Well... I'm willing to let you have it. A Nuka-Cola jumpsuit? Ha! <laughs> That's a paltry prize compared to what I'm offering. The choice is yours, but I beg you to honor my wishes. There is no one else who can help me. I sort of feel sorry for him. Sierra. I'm almost afraid to ask, but what's your decision? What about the secret Nuka-Cola formula you think is locked up in that vault? That was before we found John Caleb Bradburton in the flesh. Well, mostly. Who knows? Maybe he'll tell me the Nuka-Cola formula himself, along with all kinds of other things? <laughs> that would be incredible. Please, tell me that you'll let him live. I'll accept your offer. I won't shut the power off. Thank you, thank you, thank you! You're doing the right thing. After all, this is a great man we're talking about. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a living legend to talk to. Good luck running Nuka World. Sierra. Mr. Bradford! I'm sorry. I'm going to see what else I can find in this place to add to my collection. What the? 